So Ada Lovelace is in the house. Let's take a look at this wonderful NVIDIA RTX 6000 ADA edition that NVIDIA was kind enough to send to support the YouTube channel. Huge, huge thank you to NVIDIA. You've always been great supporters of the channel and everything we do here. So let's do an unboxing and have a look. This is what it actually shipped in. I'm not sure if I actually get the retail box under here or not. We'll, we'll certainly see. All right, this is the straight up box that it comes in. Uh, the actual retail boxes are really fairly pretty for these, but I don't care. I'm happy to just get the GPU. You can see in here, there's the, the dongle that is used to connect it to a power supply. It's a different dongle than an A6000. We'll have a look at both of those next to each other in a second. Let's get this out of the way. And here, here it is in the static wrap. Went and got my handy static-free gloves. Just wanna, wanna be completely careful here. I don't wanna find out whether NVIDIA would send me another one if I broke it. And here it is. Really looks a lot like the A6000 that I already have in there. I do see RTX 6000 right here in very small font, so I will be able to tell them uh, apart when I go to switch them, switch it out. And here we see the, the GPU. It's got the blower sort of RAM cooling that will take the air and put it straight through. So you can tell you can really pack these pretty well together. It's only taking two slots compared to like a 4090 or 3090. So I could certainly see putting two of these right together. When I have the A6000 out, we'll take a look at them right next to each other. So these are both of them side by side. I'll let the autofocus run so that it, you can see these hopefully clearer. They look really very similar. If you were to place two of these together, I'm not really too keen on mixing generations, but if you were to put two RTX 6000 ADAs together, it would look something like this. And you can see that they would really pack together well. The blowers would push the air out and it would have a kind of a cylinder of air that it would pull in through through that fan. Okay, enough looking at it. Let's get it mounted into the computer and see what happens. The first thing we're going to do is install the graphics driver. You can get this right here from the NVIDIA website. I'm going to select the type of GPU that this is. This is an NVIDIA RTX 6000 ADA, which you see right here. And we're going to download the NVIDIA driver. Now this is gonna take a moment, so we'll fast forward through this part. Now that we have it, we're going to go ahead and install it. You just double click it and install it. Just accept all the default operations for this and it goes through. This will probably black out the video a bit because I am installing a new driver. We'll go ahead and fast forward through this part. Okay, now the driver is installed. We also have to install CUDA because I'm gonna use this for machine learning and I want to be able to use the, the low level drivers provided by NVIDIA. So we're going here to the CUDA page. We have to select some parameters here to just specify which CUDA we actually want. I want this for the Windows platform, for this processor type and go ahead and download. This takes a moment, so we'll fast forward. Now I'm gonna install CUDA. And once CUDA is installed, I'll be able to just check the status of the GPU, make sure it's installed properly. It's installing CUDA. I'll go ahead and fast forward this. Okay, CUDA's installed. So let's pop open a window 
and I'm going to run NVIDIA SMI and just see if this GPU is present. And there it is. All right, the GPU is fully installed. That was really a pretty easy process. So I'm just about ready to start on more videos about what this GPU can actually do. Let's quickly go over the stats of this GPU. So I'm showing you the specifications here. It has 48 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM. That's an amazing amount of RAM for a desktop GPU. It's 300 watts, similar to its predecessors, and not that much bigger. That's one thing that I really do like about this GPU. It fits nicely into the computer. It has four display ports. Need to get some more monitors maybe here. And it makes use of PCI Gen 4 graphics bus. It has 18,176. NVIDIA Lovelace Architecture CUDA cores. It has 568 third generation Tensor cores and 142 second generation RT cores. So this gives it a lot of processing power for artificial intelligence tasks that I will almost certainly be throwing at it. It's also a really advanced GPU just in its own sense. It can probably play video games quite well and drive them at 4K, 8K, that sort of thing. This is not something I'll be particularly using it for. Another note of this GPU compared to its predecessor, it does not include NVLink. NVIDIA, at least for the GeForce and the professional workstation lines of GPU, is going more towards the PCIe Express bus architecture for transferring data rapidly between the GPUs. Personally, I never used NVLink a lot on workstation class machines. I had, a, I had a work computer that had dual Quadro 8000s, which did have the NVLink installed, but mostly I was just parallelizing things across the GPU. So I'm not necessarily that concerned about the lack of NVLink. You certainly can still use it in the cloud. So this is the first in a whole series of videos on the fabulous NVIDIA RTX 6000 ADA. Make sure you subscribe and like the video so that you don't miss anything.